Well, the Navy pulled the four crew members from the water and rushed them to Centera Norfolk General. Yeah, as we've been saying, one crew member did die at the hospital. Navy personnel, they have been seen coming and going from the hospital throughout the afternoon. An eyewitness told 13 News Now that he saw the helicopter land and rush, this is the rescue helicopter, and rush all the crew members inside. The first, the first gentleman that came out, um, he really didn't look all that in great of shape. They had him pretty bundled up. I imagine they were wet at some point. But he uh, wasn't moving very much. Wasn't very much moving out of them all. This all right, and that was uh, one of the eyewitnesses who actually saw these uh, crew members come in when they were uh, first rescued from uh, this terrible tragedy. Now, Coast Guard uh, Captain John Little, he also spoke to the media a little while ago. The Coast Guard cutter, the seawater, was very close to when this happened, about two nautical miles away. They responded immediately. He says they didn't see the crash, but they did hear it. Here's a, they did hear it, actually. Here's a, a little bit of what he had to say. One sailor has died as a result of uh, this morning's crash. Three sailors are being treated uh, at Centera General in Norfolk. Two of those crew members are in stable condition. The remaining crew member is in or soon will be in surgery. And we did have the Coast Guard cutter Shearwater, an 87-foot coastal patrol boat nearby. They were conducting uh, operations. They did not see the crash. Uh, they were that far away, but heard it heard our uh, uh, call for uh, their assistance and immediately responded and immediately began searching. They launched their boat. We also launched another Coast Guard 45-foot medium uh, response boat from Station Little Creek, and both of those vessels are out there actively searching right now.